welcome to the stage, Moriarty! What's up, man? Allison and I finally had sex. <gasps> it's about time. No, no it, it was, was way, way too, too soon, soon to have sex. sex. 
Why? What do you mean? Like, at one point, as I was fastening a dog collar around his neck and whipping him into submission, I just thought to myself, did we rush into this? Um, what? I'm screaming my safety word, tangerine, and I'm crying these bitter tears out of my eyes. And I thought to myself, we rushed into this. They had weird sex. <laughs> Buddy, it's not too soon for sex. It's too soon for weird fetish sex. Dude, no, you're right. We shouldn't have had sex at all. Now everything's going to be super awkward. God. I mean, how do you stay friends with someone once they've seen your butthole? <laughs> you can't do it. Why did you skip the regular sex? You could have just had regular sex. Why did you think this was a good idea? Dude, I don't know. We just panicked and went for it. <laughs> there is cum. There is cum over every inch of my room, Lori. Like, I'm gonna have to move. I don't need all the details. Dude, I'm finding these pieces of hair all over my body. Oh my god, I was ripping tufts of her hair out when we did that Rapunzel thing. <laughs> Dude, everyone knows you start with the standard sex stuff, and then you gradually move on to the weird kinky sex stuff. You don't just jump ahead willy-nilly. You know, I should have I should have seen this coming because I've seen when Harry met Sally like one time on TNT. Men and women can't be friends. The sex part always gets in the way. Dude, no, this is a completely different thing. From this. I'm so depressed right now. She's my favorite person to just go get a drink with, you know? Oh my god, I just remembered he's supposed to be my plus one at Melissa's wedding this summer! I'm feeling sweaty <sighs> and vulnerable. <laughs> Do, Do you want, want to come, come over? over? <gasps> <gasps> no, it's okay. I think I'm just gonna take a shower and wipe all this hamburger off my body. <laughs> <laughs> oh, okay, call me later. Yeah, I don't know. I think I'm gonna take a nap. I just ate a million hamburger buns, so... <laughs> I'll see you, bro. Alright, bro. Yes. <laughs> what a mess! Uh, I'm so glad we only have sex with other people. <laughs> <laughs> Attendant. <laughs>
now because I'm a single father and I have to save my son. It's okay. We understand. Oh, man. Look at all this mess I made. At least let me fix this pretty white table. Let's go! Okay. I'm gonna go save my son. Great. Hopefully I can catch a cab. <laughs> oh. Oh. oh my god, that, that guy shot me like 17 times. <laughs> So I put him in a headlock because my feelings made me feel vulnerable and lonely and just generally unlovable. So naturally, my instincts kicked in and told me I should level the playing field by scaring the shit out of this guy. This is why Becky is single. <laughs> Doug, did I tell you that Becky loves the Oakland A's, just like you? Like, really? really? Yeah. Um, maybe we could go to a game sometime. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, no, no, don't! Don't! Okay. Oh, what are you doing? That was insane! <laughs> I didn't want to do that! <laughs> this is not the way to a guy's heart, I know. But I just can't help it. This is why Becky is single! Hey, Becky. I'm so glad we did this. <laughs> me too. <laughs> I'm glad you walked me home. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I know! I'm here too! <laughs> Why did I do that, you know? I could have just kissed this guy. But instead I barked at his face a lot. Oh, 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 you're funny. That's a funny thing. Oh, yeah. Back to what I was doing. Ruff, are you emotionally available or are you just using me for sex? Rough, rough. That's real. Uh, uh, wait, what did you say? You were like barking, so I couldn't. Uh, <laughs> Psycho! This is why Becky is single! <laughs> that guy hung on for longer than most. So, I'm pretty sure you're gonna love the way I fuck 
up this next one. It's hilarious. And by hilarious, I think you know what I mean. <laughs> You are really good at sex. <laughs> Mike, um, there's something that I want to say, but it's kind of hard to say it. Becky, yeah. if you're nervous, it's okay because I'm nervous too. And part of a relationship is being vulnerable around each other. And I'm willing to do that. When you die, it'll be because I murdered you. <laughs> <laughs> that one hasn't happened, but I'm pretty sure it will happen soon. <laughs> so, for all you people who have not been turned off yet, this is my phone number. <laughs> for all you eligible bachelors out there in the audience, and any mental health professionals, I am looking for a therapist, I do have health insurance, and I've got enough baggage for us to work through for a very long time. So if that tickles your fancy, call me. This is why, this is why, this is why, Becky is single. <laughs> I bought her a ton of drinks, oh. and I stayed till the very last person was gone, oh. so I was the last person. Oh, wow. And then she went home. What? Because she drank too much. What? Oh. But you were so nice to her. I was so nice to her. And she didn't have sex with you? What an ungrateful bitch. Oh. <laughs> I know. I know. I mean, you know, with that kind of person, I'm kind of glad we didn't have sex, you know? Uh, for sure. She sounds like the worst person. You really dodged a bullet. God, what are we doing wrong? Why are we single? It's not our fault. <laughs> no, we're just two romantic guys trying to find love in the city. <laughs> Cheers. Uh <-huh. laughs> so, uh, how are things with you and Michelle? Uh. I don't know what I'm doing wrong. I, I favored every single one of her tweets. Yeah. I PA'd on her web series. Oh. I was super nice to her. And she hasn't even offered to have sex with me. Oh. That is so unfair. I know. I I'm just going to move on, you know? I, I can't waste my time on someone so selfish. Oh, that's a good call. Oh. I wish somebody would tell that to my heart. <laughs> uh, look at us. Two romantic guys uh, trying to find love in the city. Uh, <laughs> do you guys know what you'd like? Oh, um, a girl that likes me for me? <laughs> That's not on the menu. <laughs> No, no, it's not. <laughs> I'm Paul Emile. <laughs> I'll give you guys a minute. Uh, oh, oh. Angel alert. Uh, now that's the type of woman I could see you with. Oh, uh, yeah, right. What would a smart, funny, intelligent uh, woman like that have to do with anything uh, like two guys like uh, us? Uh, yeah, yeah. I'm just ready to fall in love again, you know? I have so much love to give. Uh, water, water everywhere and not a drop to drink. <laughs> By water, I mean love. Yeah. <laughs> oh, man. Oh, man. You know, I just, I want to stop apologizing oh. for believing in true love. Oh. You know? I mean, mm -hmm. not to mention being a victim of women's irrationality. Uh, I know. It's like, I don't 
beat women. I don't rape women. Where's my trophy? <laughs> say was outside when the poison air was released. <laughs> Oops! This conversation will never lead to procreation. <laughs> because it's hard to forget the screams of your dying loved ones. <laughs> so you might be asking yourself, how can I get in the mood? Easy, by hosting your very own reproductive party. Judine, it's Eileen. I'm throwing a group sex party to help her populate the earth. You're invited. Wonderful. Who else should we invite? Oh, literally everyone who's still alive? I think this might actually be fun. Step one, there aren't enough survivors to be choosy. And follow Eileen's example. She kept the conversation to party specifics and avoided responding to the government's response to tragedy. <laughs> Hello, everyone! I'm so glad you could make it. Oh, thanks so much for having us. I'm really excited to ignore the horrors of everyday life, even if only for a few hours. Did you have any trouble finding the place? <laughs> Great joke. It's a joke because we all live in the same fallout shelter. <laughs> it's time for step two, icebreaker games. Now, Raise your hand if you have an operable uterus. Just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> oh, what fun! It's almost as if we aren't going to be sad forever. <laughs> it's time for step three. It's your civic duty to make a baby for this scorched earth. But you aren't going to rebuild population on an empty stomach. So, provide your guests with food and refreshments. But keep it light. We aren't sure when we're going to get more rations. So, uh, how's everybody feeling? You know what? I almost feel safe again. Golly, <laughs> <laughs> what fun! No one's even mentioned the reanimated corpses outside! It's time for step four. Procreation. Dim the lights and play some music. <laughs> And here's a pro tip, keep that music nice and loud to quiet out the dark thoughts of your guests' minds. <laughs> If there 
weren't an apocalypse. <laughs> it's an orgy. As always, I'm your host, Chippy Dillard. Tune in next week for the government-approved program. We're almost out of food. Here's who you should eat. <laughs> enjoying that beautiful flight to Egypt. True. But once I got there, there were so many lighthouses in Egypt. Oh. <laughs> I feel like an idiot. I see what they were doing now. <laughs> they stopped talking about lighthouses to surprise you. This is smart comedy. <laughs> Well, uh, this lighthouse actually is 300 steps tall. Wait, hey, wait, 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 wait! We don't like, we don't this, like this sketch! What? Bring back the sketches about romantic guys! Yeah, do more sketches about romantic guys! We're too We're romantic, too romantic guys. guys! We did that already, you guys. You Boy! Can't... I'm the lady from Grace, who sang and danced with John Travolta. <laughs> 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 no! Okay, Olivia Newton-John. Hey, hey, uh, why, why don't you put back that other sketch group, Alamo? <laughs> I, I'm, a, I'm Mike Lane, actor from Alamo! All right, you know what? Fuck this. You can't just yell and all... Wait! Everybody shut up! Hi, I'm a lighthouse attendant. I've learned a lot in the last 20 seconds. <laughs> You can't just shout out whatever kind of comedy you want to see because it relates to your experience, okay? These men and women are working very hard every month to put on a show. Particularly these women who have to put up with the patriarchy? I mean, are you kidding me? We live in a society that fundamentally seeks to put women down. I'm sorry, Karen. That's cool. I mean, cool, thanks. <laughs> <laughs> so think about that. I'm a feminist lighthouse attendant. 